Welcome back. Uh, we are still looking at the same faction sitting there, lurking in the shadow. We want to get our befriend scheme going so this faction becomes weaker. This guy should drop out. There he goes. Out he is. Are you gonna... Another perk, we can become a matriarch, which gives us fertility and stress loss and close family opinion and house opinion plus 10. That's pretty decent. We are not going to unlock this trait, uh, this uh, lifestyle tree, till we are dead. We are working very hard on getting hereditary rule up, which will allow us to get uh, the partition law, which shifts a little bit in who gets what in succession. Though since we are an empire rank title, we will lose a lot anyway. There's uh, really not much of a point until we get to Primo Ultimo Genitor. Uh, recently, I wanted to talk about this a little bit. Uh, recently, recently in re relationship to when this uh, video appears, um, Paradox Interactive released a uh, what do you call it? A, a subscription scheme for Crusader Kings 2, so you can basically subscribe and get a chance at playing uh, one or two or all uh, the DLC for Crusader Kings 2. Now Crusader Kings 2 is a very old game and the base game is free. So there's a lot of DLC but you can dip your toes in uh, very easily. There are some DLC for Crusader Kings 2 that are absolutely uh, mandatory as many people say. Personally I don't believe in mandatory DLC especially since Paradox DLC at least uh, during the lifetime of Crusader Kings 2, less so in other games such as Stellaris, are pretty much a little bit of a gift basket for everyone, even if you don't buy the DLC, because plenty of the quality of life and improvements make it to the game regardless uh, whether or not you have the DLC. So, to me, really, I don't, I don't think it's a bad move, uh, because... Learning Crusader Kings 2 takes a while and if you just subscribe for like two or three months uh, You're not going to be out a lot of money And if you figure out that you really like the game in the state it is in and since there's not going to be more DLC released for it because it's uh, at the end of the of its life uh, You will uh, very much Loyalty of fear uh, Let's become a Generous leash, losing vassal tax, but direct vassals like us better, sure. Um, so, once you figure out for Crusading Institute if you like the game, you can slowly, throughout several sales, because there's always going to be sales, uh, build up your... Um, your stake, <laughs> your amount of Crusading Institute that you own, uh, which I like. That, I, th I think that's a really cool, really cool idea. But I do wonder what other people think, so do let me know in the comments below what you think about the Crusader Kings 2 subscription model. And if you would like to see something uh, similar to other games such as Crusader Kings that 3, that has also some DLC on the horizon, not currently, but there will be more, doubtless. Let's check the title creation thing. Is there an empire title? Nope. Only duchies. Very good. Declare all the wars. Holy war for the kingdom of... What is this? Kingdom of Africa. 22,000. I feel like... Uh, that's a big no. My god, Europe is fractured. Did it sin? Uh, should we sleep with this man? Uh, sure. We are now known as a strumpet. <laughs> Good. That wasn't ideal. If it remained pure.
This down there belongs to us. Should probably... There. There's no integrating title, sadly. That's a good task, though. That helps with splintering empires. We are thoughtful. Opinion gain from gifts plus 100%. That's pretty decent. Grant that dude to that lady. Sure. And that lady to that lady. It's all good. Here. And all get and you can have the lady for a discount. Who are we joining as a defender? Against the populist uprising. Where is that? Is that here? Is that you? No. Uh, up there. And Uh, I think we'll raise them a little bit safer over here. That should be enough. Everyone, please move. running away uh, only partially I think they're just kind of resetting where to stand as to avoid attrition I would say I've done you a great deal of good boy we are bleeding money insane now, of course, our troops need to be replenished, so that makes us less money as well. Lucky we saved up so much. How much money does our air have? Oh, goodness. How much money you have? Do we even see it? 187. He earns more than us. His empress. How dare he? You don't have all that many children, do you? The three. Are they any good? Uh, 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 oh, I mean, uh, it'll be fine. It'll all be fine. Uh, sure. I will take the money. As you saw, we absolutely, definitely, 100% need it. Take this here. Connecting our empire. Ah, uh, we could become a Hashashia. Stewardship and learning going down. Now, this is my duty after all. We're gonna go for the for the stress achievement for the three point stress achievement. I think. Ah, death is at our doorstep. Maybe we get the stress achievement. Could do a feast, could we? Are we diligent? Con uh, we're not shy. Do a hunt. Ah, what gives us the most stress? 8 stress, 15 stress, 8, 8, 8, 15. Need more stress. Hey, yeah, I can live with the opinion modifier. We are at death's doorstep, anywho. The Reaper comes and claims us. How old is our son? Oh, that's. Ideal. But we're getting 10 gold again. Yes. So 
wars going on down here. We'll ransom the dude. Who can we imprison? Anyone cool? Oh, that gains us stress. Yes, more stress. Good, good. Everyone gets imprisoned. That lady ran away. Uh, foreign affairs, fellow vassal opinion. Tartle creation cost. Huh. That. Come on, more stress. <laughs> ah, yes, 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 more stress. Eight stress, ten percent for stress. There we go. We finally got it. Very good. Okay, what happens if you get a mental break? Highest stress level reached. First we got the achievement, so that's neat. Um, it's all too much. What, what, what worth is this they're even trying? We are in the middle of a dinner when it all just falls apart. I have to go through new records from Daura. I have to settle a dozen local disputes. I have to... Are you right, my liege? My friend Zarkin Fedazu cautiously voices his concern. What does it matter? Could become melancholic. Making us even more unhealthy. Or we become uh, wrathful, losing, diligent. Or we get confider and lose a level of fame. Ah, we'll go melancholic towards the end of our life. Very good. That was a safe uh, achievement, I think. As we are about to die anyway. Why not take it? And there we go. Uh, we have died. So Sauranya, Sauranya, Nafisa of Ganemborum has passed on at the age of 73. She died of old age. Tormented woman, she had long desired the sweet embrace of death. <laughs> she really has. She reigned for 11 years, and Sarkin Sarkuna Uyanke ascends to the throne in possession of fabulous riches. Only time will tell if he will make the realm thrive or roost on the gold like a dragon. Oh, he looks like a dragon, doesn't he? This is you. Continue as Sarkin Sarkuna Uyanke. Uh, we are now the head of the dynasty. Let's make sure that our uh, obsession here remains the same, and it does. And we can choose the lifestyle. We already are 13 out of 27 in here, so probably we should go that way. We are in the gallant tree already. We are gallant, I believe. Now we are going for overseer. Should we go for authority, dread gain, and control growth? Uh, I think yes. We will go for authority focus, uh, which I think goes in the overseer trait anyway. Uh, all right, lots of uh, opinion. Let's go seek the aid of the spirits. We have the money to do so. Let's spend it. 
and we get the tree spirits blessing medium health boost for 20 years which is good as we are already 50 uh, we should go on a pilgrimage to the site at Daura. <laughs> no, take a left out of the door. The site at Daura, you know that one. All right, we need to pull a whole bunch of people in here. So let's go by virtue of their skills. It would be a very good spot. Oh, there's a better spy mistress. But you hate us, don't you? Short reign, culture group, lovers pox. Should better take her. We don't want the spy mistress that hates us. But she could be a marshal. Recruit him to the court. A hundred. And development, it's all good. We'll convert. And our marshal will be that lady, so she hates us a little bit less. And she goes and decreases control and places. Done there. I don't really care. <clears throat> Foreign guards. Prowess and levy size or divine protection. Intrigue per level of devotion through foreign lanes. We are basically walking around in our own backyard and the game is telling us we are under divine protection. Uh, most worrying is the fact that my Groot will personally be at an alarming rate. The fact that alone shows that the treacherous journey can be. I think we'll go for divine protection here. Yeah. Want to pay some foreigners to guard us? We have walked the holy path. And we might get the trade wise man. Pretty cool. And we did. We are a wise man. Warrior opinion extra. Eager reveler. What is this? Available perks. Mercenary higher cost. Ah. And new. Old mystical communion. Learning lifestyle. With some piety. Sure, why not? Um. My dear cousin, I didn't profess to fully understand your habits and practice. However, I must applaud you for the obvious effort to put into your prayers. If only every true believer was as devout as you. Uh, we gain divine guidance. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's... Or we could teach him. So he also becomes a wise man. And we get... A friend. So we get all the good things, except for he, he doesn't get opinion of us. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, that's uh, we we can we can work with this. I kind of befriend you. Oh, we are not diplomat. Not the diplomat. So he's a brilliant strategist. Very good. Right after his dipapa. Uh, let's see. We need some alliance power here. Spirit Guardians. Kingdom of Sao, Kingdom of Nubia. Uh, factions. Who is against us? Guys. We have more kids who need alliances. Uh, I mean spouses. Let's see. Let's just go with the Kingdom of Nubia. Doesn't hurt us. 
A shady discussion. I am passing through the castle gardens for a morning walk when a soft breeze carries the voices of Abba and Nyanepa to my ear. The two courtiers are talking to each other in a secluded spot nearby, frequently glancing around to make sure nobody is listening. While it is hard for me to make out most of their words from a distance, it is clear that their discussion relates to Sarkin Taura. I must warn Taura. Who are you guys? Nobodies. Should get a bit closer. I must know what they are hiding, whatever the cost. I torture the information out of Abba. I'll learn the subject. Uh, yeah. Let's gain some dread, shall we? Takes a while to loosen the two prisoners' tongues, but my jailer is a patient man. After several hours of interrogation, the two plotters are ready to confess their secret. The subject of the discussion was an unsavory habit of Sarkin Daura's that I was completely unaware of. He is a non-believer. Well, 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 well. Who would have thunk? Sarkin! My good friend. Uh, except we get a weak hook. Pfft, what do I want the weak hook for? Excellent. And I will definitely attend your feast, my friend. Or, oh, well, my friend to be. Conan Bornu just grew. Or trunk. Or both. Trunk left and grew right or something. Ah, uh, wait. We still have a... Alliance here. Why do we still have an alliance here? It's fine. Do I have this claim forever and ever? It's an unpressed claim. We will have to press it eventually, so... Um, 5%. We'll try. No one rides Xanthoth but me. He's my horse. And I tell you, look at my horse. My horse is amazing. But do not give it a lick. It does not taste like raisin. Come on. How many years? 12 years. We might yet see the hereditary rule change so we can do something about our succession laws here. Can't go up there because we don't have royal prerogative, but we are very interested in royal prerogative as it is. So we would get to get partition, which changes things around a little bit. Okay, let's read this again. Let's talk about this. <clears throat> okay. Upon succession, all titles held by the royal will be divided amongst eligible children, with the player heir always being given the primary title, realm capital, and any direct de jure titles associated with it. So we need uh, the primary title. Uh, we already have it. It's, it's the Empire. Um, younger children will be given titles starting with those of the same rank as the primary title. So they get empires and stuff. Younger children will have titles created for them if enough land is held. And here we go, there's the most important uh, change here. Upon succession, all titles held by the late ruler will be divided amongst eligible children with the prayer heir always being given the primary title and any direct de jure titles associated with it. Younger children will be given titles starting with those of the rank of primary title. If none are available, they will be given lower ranking titles. Your player heir cannot be preemptively granted titles they do not stand to inherit. So. The last sentence here falls away. So if we 
if we get partition and then take everything that would be required to form the empire of Guinea, it's not going to be created. Uh, so with partition, we can hold on to a huge empire without needing to go for primogenitor or ultimogenitor. Only thing that we are still locked into is basically only having one county or under direct control. Uh, let's go to a party. Because we are not going to uh, expand all that much currently. Just sit here. Wait 12 years so we can change our succession law. I'm not entirely sure why this is a, a lock. Is it because of authority? Uh, the stallion is sick. I don't want to lose my strong war horse. It does things. <laughs> Plus 10% levy, my god. Right, and now that we have talked about a little bit about succession and stuff, we will uh, move on. At least succession right now is pr pretty alright. Uh, I mean, yeah, we lose the kingdom. We lose another kingdom. It's okay. I mean, we could easily give these kingdoms already. We don't really need them. We'll hold them for now, but we don't mind. Actually, we might need to, depending on factions. Yeah. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. See you around next time. Uh, we're working hard against the partition law that we need. Oh no, our scheme is exposed. Our scheme has been exposed. I think we can just drop it then. Doesn't really matter. Alright, see you then. Bye-bye.